wasn't ready for this, and uh, I can speak for more, more than five minutes on the subject. So I will go beyond five minutes. I was I will be told to stop talking. Um, so in the last few days, I was hearing you guys talking about developing, doing, doing the, uh, automatic testing. So, so I have a background of engineering as well as an engineer. And I was wondering when a feature is complete or a task is complete, what does it mean for you guys when it's complete? When the case is resolved, when the functionality is working, this is how, how I used to think. But it's not complete because, yes, I can go to this dialog and then I can open a third dialog and a fourth dialog and if I use that check mark and tap OK, yes, it's working, I enter the shape or not. But what, is, what about the user? How does he feel about it? Even find, find that feature. So we uh, invest a lot in uh, usability testing or also called uh, UX research. And that's also divided into two. So I'm just unloading information to you very fast. There's a very nice phrase saying, never listen to the user when you're talking about usability. And that's completely true. Because it's not, if you would go to a person in the street and ask him, will you like that feature? He will say yes. You will like that feature. So of course, yes, I like all of those features we're talking about. But will they, will they ever use it? So for this, we're doing some research. First of all, identifying the personas, the screen got, got off. Uh, <laughs> first of all, identify the personas the product is for, that specific features are for. And then um, start doing some servers and report Another interesting place to find uh, what users are wanting is the other com competitors' forums. We're fine building a text message app, just for fun. A nice, so beyond the, mo the MVP of the features of the text messaging app, I can go to a different, go to WhatsApp or other messengers and see in the forums why people left them. What was so bad with the experience or missing feature? And find some cool stuff maybe that could differentiate my app from them. That's one thing. Uh, that's for research. But what if I already implemented a feature, I build a user flow, I think it's great, the design team, team think it's great, and engineers implemented it, everyone is happy, QA validated. But it's still, it's a one. But it still doesn't mean that it's working. Uh, we use some tools that we can get a video of a user trying to use that feature. And we don't tell them step to step, or her, a step to step what to do. And going back to insert an image or a shape, we try to bring the user to an open canvas. Just look at an empty document and then ask the user, insert a shape or manipulate a shape without telling them where to tap, what to do. Some people will go to the tool toolbar. Some people will right click to play, search for the insert option. So it's very, very interesting to see all those flows because you will find a lot of things you could not think of. How user really use your product. And we're, we're doing so not to validate that our solution was the right one. It's to make sure the, that the user is able to complete its task. And if our approach did it, then it's great but we were super aware to the fact that we might get it wrong. So we need to keep improving and improving. And when we build a roadmap, we always keep a buffer for improving and sometimes even pushing features aside because it's not just a check mark to say the feature is complete, you will always see if it's working. Uh, it's very challenging and very interesting. What I like to do a lot is after having maybe summarize all the videos into short, short clips and then sit down with the developers and show them back to back like, uh, like 10 very short clips all the struggle and the pain users are going through to complete that feature they just implemented so there's a connection that also I can feel developers are very engaged they can, they can feel the pain because usually uh, Developers themselves are not playing or working with the app as much as they're building, working with the coder. So that's basically it.
one more time, 20 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you for listening. You have questions, by the way? Yeah, that one question. Yeah, what is it? Just said we. Who's we? Not we, it's me, the product manager, and the design team at Cloud. So the design team, when I say design team, is, is involved of the designers and UX people. Cloud on, we have around five, six designers in-house. We also have externals. When three of them are completely just on the editing tool. We also have the works, workflow, the finder. We have a lot of tools in our app. One more question? Good. Thank you.